Hello, welcome back to Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I'm Nanda. In this video, I'm going to talk about pre filter policy in Firepower Threat Defense. Before we go uh, further into the pre filter policy, um, I would like to highlight the difference between pre filter policy and access control policy. As the name suggests, the pre filter policy happens much before the access control policy. Uh, the pre-filter policy has uh, two different type of policy. One is uh, tunnel policy and the another, other one is pre-filter. Um, with pre-filter policy, you could create a rule with simple IP level and then TCP uh, protocol or a, a port number and then with VLAN tagging and then have actions on the matching traffic. Apart from that, you have a tunnel uh, a tunnel rule which where you can match certain encapsulation traffic such as uh, GRE IP and IP or IPv6 in IP or Trido these encapsulation packet if you see a traffic that matches any of this uh, protocol what you want to do uh, you want to simply uh, drop the packet uh, at the pre-filter level or you want to allow them at the pre-filter level or uh, strip off the encapsulation packet and then send the inner payload to access control policy for further inspection. Uh, these two different policy can be uh, done at pre-filter policy. They are primarily matching criteria are based on IP address and port. Whereas access control policy, which is much beyond from L2 to application level, right? You can create policy based on IP address geolocations or security in, in, security intelligence based on a repetition of a particular IP you could say whether to allow or not and uh, further um, for, uh, further you can create policy based on user you know, uh, based on uh, the destination URL that a user is accessing based on application so all sort of um, L7 inspection can be configured on access control policy on the action in the pre filter policy, you have uh, three actions. One is analyze, second is block, and then fast path. So let me talk about the fast path. Um, if a rule matches based on a particular source IP destination IP or protocol uh, port number, if a traffic matches, then if you if the action is fast path, the traffic is allowed to exit the egress interface without any further inspection. Uh, this helps greatly you know, reduces the latency on a particular connection. Say for example, if you have a traffic uh, traveling from a server network to a different server network or a server network to a backup uh, server where you trust the traffic and trust the IP address and you don't want to do any um, advanced inspection on those traffic, you could uh, very well use the pre-filter policy to create access control, uh, to create a rule that matches a uh, um, network and then pro uh, port number with the action fast path. Um, on the other side, if you know that uh, particular two network does not need to talk to each other, for example, a HR network uh, does not want to talk to an RMD or a server network, you could create the uh, rule with an IP address, uh, HR network rule and the um, network and the RD uh, network and then have the action as block. So, what that means is uh, you don't need to waste the uh, uh, FTD resources to do an inspection for a, to block, which you know that it's the traffic is not needed and then you can block it at pre filter policy. On the analyze, uh, typically can be used uh, when you um, when you know that in your network you have you are seeing and uh, traffic which is either GRE or IP and IP encapsulation traffic and uh, you could create a rule which matches the GRE peer address um, address and then it once it matches the pre-filter policy strips off those um, G, um, encapsulation header and then when the action is analyzed the packet will be sent to, to the access control policy for further inspection so in access control policy you can have rules to match or inspect a, the inner payload of the encapsulation packet. So let's go to the FMC and then see um, how to configure the pre-filter policy and how to verify and what are the other troubleshooting things that you can do it with pre-filter policy. 
So as you could see that access control policy that uh, by default the pre-filter policy is pointing to a default uh, pre-filter policy. Um, every access control policy will have one uh, pre-filter policy. Um, by default it will be it will be pointing towards a default uh, pre-filter policy and if you create a, a custom or new pre-filter policy that you can point it here. Um, so you can find the pre-filter policy under policy access control pre-filter policy. Uh, the default one which cannot be changed has a uh, no rule and has a default action which says analyze all tunnel traffic which means that if it finds any of the encapsulation tunnel uh, traffic which is GRE or IP and IP or Trudeau it's going to send those traffics to access control policy for further inspection. I'm going to create a new uh, rule. So, um, as I said, we have uh, two pol uh, two rules. One is um, tunnel rule, and the other one is pre-filter rule. Let's look at what is tunnel rule. Um, as I said during the initial slide, the tunnel rule uh, will do an inspection based on encapsulation protocols such as GRE, IP, and IP, IPv6, and Trudeau. Um, you can create create a rule um, to match any of these encapsulation protocol and then say what you want to do with it whether you want to analyze which means that uh, it will send the inner payload for uh, for the inspection to the access using access control policy or if you action is blocked then if a traffic matches this particular rule it drops the packet at a pre-filter level if you say pass uh, fast path uh, then that uh, matched traffic would be um, allowed to be um, go to the egress interface without any further inspection with access control policy. So let's uh, create a simple GRE rule and then I'm going to say that as uh, fast path and we have uh, two options here one is uh, match uh, tunnel only for source and then match tunnel uh, for both source and destination. What that means is with this matching criteria it's going to create a rule and if you have uh, tunnel matching only for source that is only one policy will be created on the device if you have a match tunnel for both source and destination there will be two policy one is on the egress interface one is on the reverse direction so let me uh, have the source and destination and then we'll verify that on the device CLI so I'm going to say from outside as a source and then inside network and then uh, tunnel endpoint that is uh, let's say like if I'm going to use a GRE as a protocol uh, then the tunnel endpoint uh, IP address that I have to mention here say for example so uh, 192.168.10.11 will be the um, source uh, GRE IP address and then uh, which will which will which it expects to ma get match on the traf traffic similarly on the destination and then uh, select the encapsulation protocol GRE and click add and there you go you have this policy let's save this and if you could see that the default action is, uh, action is analyze all traffic we will also see what that mean is so now that we have created the access control policy, now we have to associate this to an access control. So I'm going to associate this to an access control ACI policy, change the default policy to to the pre-filter policy that I've just created. I'm setting it to pre-filter iPhone demo. Save this configuration. Deploy to the device. Now the deployment is uh, completed. Let's go to the device and verify the configuration. So I'm going to do show run access control list. So here you can see the pre-filter uh, pre policy. Um, uh, pre-filter policy here. Um, the one GRE tunnel that we have created with IP 192.160.10.11 you could see that there are two rules that have been created here um, with the action trust from outside to inside 
and as I said there are two rules it is because that we have uh, used this match the tunnel for source and destination uh, if we are if we have used a, a, a rule that only from source then you would have seen only the first rule uh, which means that you need to create one more rule for the return traffic um, since we use the um, action as fast path we have the action as trust uh, if we would have used uh, as analyze then we can we would have seen that uh, traffic as permit apart from that uh, we have a default action as analyze all tunnel traffic so that has translated into these uh, default uh, rules which says that any uh, traffic from um, from any interface and any IP address that matches a protocol um, pro uh, GRE of I uh, either GRE or um, IP in IP or IPv6 um, all the tunnel protocol will by default uh, marked as permit and then will be sent to access control for access control policy for further inspection let's create a pre filter policy rule uh, to see how it works I'm going to create a pre filter policy uh, to allow our traffic from inside network to outside into out and then I'm going to mark the action as fast path um, set the interface the interface zone and I'm going to say an inside host to an outside host so if a traffic matches from uh, from source one uh, sixteen or uh, this host to an um, outside host, I want the action as uh, fast path. Uh, let's see how it works. And um, at the same time, if I have, I'll create one more rule from out to in. And mark that as analyze and that is traffic from outside to inside the same set of pair of interface but I'm going to reverse the network if a traffic originate from 192.168.10.10 uh, .10 to 172.16.10.10 from inside to outside I want the action to be um, analyzed which means that the traffic will be sent to the um, access control policy and also let's make sure there um, access control policy exists uh, we don't have any access control policy and then the action is uh, block all traffic so we should see that traffic from coming from uh, out to in should be blocked let me deploy the policy now the deployment is successful let's go to and verify the configuration on the CLI uh, you could see that pre-filter policy has been created here um, there are two uh, pre-filter policy one is from inside to outside and the other one is from outside to inside uh, from inside to outside it is a trust rule and then from outside to inside since we said it's an analyze the action is permit so which means that the traffic uh, would be uh, subjected and from uh, with access control policy so I have an inside PC. I'm going to do a telnet uh, FTP from inside to outside, and as per our rule, this should be allowed uh, and with fast path. Yes, I'm able to log into the outside. Let's verify the connection. So I can see the uh, traffic from inside one seven two sixteen ten dot ten to one outside with the flag. Uh, if you find the flag N in this which means that this traffic is subject to uh, snort inspection since we don't have the N flag which we can understand that this uh, connection is uh, started flowing and um, uh, started trusting based on pre-filter rule now I'm going to create a traffic from outside to inside um, So I could see that the traffic is getting blocked now the traffic from outside to inside is blocked by 
the access control policy which is uh, with a default rule which is uh, block all the traffic I'm going to create a new rule to allow uh, traffic from outside to inside inside um, I'm going to just enable the IPS inspection here and then say allow if there is no malicious activity on this traffic. Let's deploy this and then see how it works. Deployment is successful. Let's um, let's send the traffic from outside to inside. Now the traffic is allowed from outside to inside. Um, let's verify on the device. So now we can see the traffic uh, <coughs> from outside to inside, and on the flag you see that um, uh, flag N, which says that this traffic is sent to access control policy and that is not engine for further inspection. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope this video is informative. Please subscribe to this channel for, for more videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.